Welcome to this short introduction video for our new Bluetouch system. Go to hamburger button and press. Go to machine settings and press button. Here we will find following buttons. Weft material specifications. Pre-winder settings. Programmable filling tensioner settings. Insertion settings. OptiValve settings. Pressures. Main nozzle and relay nozzle settings. Filling detector settings. Tucking in settings, only visible when foreseen for tucking in. Waste cutter settings. Cordless settings, only visible when foreseen for cordless. Adaptive relay valve drive 2 plus settings. Manual bob and change. We will only cover the new functions and the things that need special attention. We will look first at the bobbin specification. On this page there are no major changes. The biggest change is that we can see immediately that all the channel settings are set the same by the colored dot. If the dot is the same color this means that the channels are set all the same. If one channel is different it is immediately visible by the color of the dot. You can also see all channels in one table. Here we can see if the channels are equal or different. This is the copy button to copy from one channel to other channels. One feature is also when one or more channels is not used like in a channel test pattern, it becomes visible with a crossed out channel number. These features can be found back on most other setting sections. Pre-Winder Page Advanced setting for the Pre-Winder can be found here. The only place that the Easy Set function can be found is here on the Pre-Winder page. Programmable Filling Tensioner Setting Page the major change here is the zero adjustment procedure. Follow the steps as shown to do the zero adjustment when replacing finger or motor. Next to this button is the Programmable Filling Tensioner Analysis. The Insertion Page. Here we will give in the usual settings. Distances, earliest possible insertion start, latest possible arrival time. The filling length is given in here. Be sure that the drum of the pre-winder is empty, and motor is switched off. As you can see there is no calculation button, this button is placed in the OptiValve page. OptiValve page. The calculation is now made here with this button. Press button. Here we can see the suggestion and settings. The calculation button can be found here. To use the suggestion there isn't a calculation button anymore. 
you must copy the suggestion to the settings bar by pushing the copy button. You can select which settings you will take over from the suggestion bar. Push calculation button. We go automatic to the OptiValve page. Here we can see and program all the needed pressures. To given the reference pressure, calibrate or replace electronic pressure regulator, push button. The info tab will show us the minimum, maximum and average pressure. Main nozzle settings. Electronic low continuous air settings. Clamp on the movable main nozzle only visible when foreseen for clamp on movable main nozzle. Posey jet on off button. Auto speed button. Twin jet on off button. Relay nozzle settings. Now you only see the stretch nozzle and extraction nozzle settings. By pushing this button you can see all the relay nozzle setting from every channel. You can't make changes here. To make changes in the timing of the relay nozzles go to show relay nozzle button and press. Here you can make changes. To given the distances and amount of relay nozzles mounted on one valve push setting button. This give you an indication of the main nozzle pressure compared to the programmed minimum and maximum pressure in the main nozzle settings page. This will only change when machine is running. Adaptive Relay Valve Drive 2 Plus is not in this page anymore. You can find the Adaptive Relay Valve Drive 2 Plus settings here. Filling Detector Settings here we find the filling detector analysis and filling detector circuit board info. Here we find the filling detector service and tests. Filter values from filling detector 1 and 2. Now the zones from filling detector 1 and 2 is visible. Tucking in settings is only visible when machine is foreseen for tucking in. Cordless settings is only visible when machine is foreseen for cordless. Waste cutters. Manual bob and change only visible when weft is filament. Questions or remarks? Please contact us.